Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate Saint Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine. We pray that through her intercession, our hearts also may be prepared to encounter God just as she prayed for her son Augustine to encounter God also. And so, to prepare ourselves in this Eucharistic celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who console the sorrowful, and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of Saint Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine. Grant us, through the intercession of them both, that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace 
of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, we earnestly ask and exhort you in the Lord Jesus that, as you receive from us how you should conduct yourselves to please God, and as you are conducting yourselves, you do so even more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. This is the will of God, your holiness, that you refrain from immorality, that each of you know how to acquire a wife for himself, in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion, as do the Gentiles who do not know God, not to take advantage of or exploit a brother or sister in this matter, for the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you before and solemnly affirmed. For God did not call us to impurity, but to holiness. Therefore, whoever disregards this, disregards not a human being, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful ones. From the hand of the wicked, he delivers them. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom! Come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, 
for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord <clears throat> Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today teach us of preparing, preparations. And I think the context of both readings today, both are about weddings. And I know that for many of us, preparing for a wedding is very important. But let us see more clearly, my dear brothers and sisters, how they did their preparations for the wedding. In our gospel passage today, we see the parable of Jesus about the ten virgins, five were wise and five were foolish. How did the wise virgins prepare in meeting the bridegroom so they can go in the wedding feasts? My dear brothers and sisters, I think the point of Jesus in our gospel today is that the wise virgins prepared well in order for them to encounter the bridegroom well. Preparation should lead us to encounter. The foolish ones prepared also, they waited also, but they missed encountering the bridegroom in the wedding feasts. My dear brothers and sisters, I think this is what Jesus tries to tell us today. You have a good preparation in order for you to have a good encounter with God. Preparing well means we need to enjoy the encounter. Kaya lang madalas po nangyayari sa atin, lalo na kapag naghahanda para sa kasal, masyadong napapagod sa paghahanda. Pagdating na sa kasal mismo, pagod na at hindi na na-encounter, hindi na na-enjoy ang pakikipagtagpo sa Panginoon. Sinasabihan ko nga madalas no, yung mga kinakasal dito. Kapag naghahanda kayo sa kasal, siguraduhin ninyong huwag kayong mapapagod sa paghahanda. Kasi pagdating dito sa kasal na ninyo sa araw ng kasal, ay aantok-antok na kayo. No? At madalas yung mga kinakasal ay tulala na, pagod na. Sayang naman yung araw ng kasal kung saan makakatagpo natin ang Diyos sa inyong araw ng kasal. Napagod ng masyado sa preparation at hindi na nakita ang Diyos, hindi na nakatagpo ang Diyos sa araw ng kasal. A good preparation will lead us to a good encounter. But a tiring preparation may rob you of the joy of encountering the Lord. This is also what St. Paul tells us in his first letter to the Thessalonians. His letter to the Thessalonians is about looking for a partner, a spouse, looking for a wife or a husband for yourself. 
And he said that as Christians looking for a spouse, looking for a husband or a wife, is like preparing also to encounter God. You need to examine what is your intention. Is your intentions pure? You do not have, you should not have preparations to abuse, to exploit, but rather your intention should show purity, holiness, and encounter with God. Preparing to choose a husband or a wife should always include God. It should not take God out of the picture, but preparing for your wedding should prepare you also to encounter God. My dear brothers and sisters, a good preparation should lead you to a good encounter with God. Prepare well so that we could have a good encounter with Jesus. But if we get so tired with the preparation, then we might lose God in the process. Let us ask for the intercession of St. Monica today. St. Monica, the mother of St. Augustine, who for many years prayed, offered sacrifices for the conversion of her son, Augustine. For many years, she was preparing the heart of her son. But for those years of preparing, she did not lose the goal of the preparation, and that is to encounter God. After so many years of preparing the heart of her son Augustine, at last, she was able to enjoy the fruits of her preparation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare well ourselves so that we could also have a very good encounter with God. Amen. The Gospel message reminds us to be wise and vigilant as we wait for the coming of the Lord Jesus. Let us pray for the world He has redeemed. For every petition, let us say, Divine Master, keep us faithful in Your service. Divine Master, keep us faithful in Your service. That the Church may read the signs of the times and constantly remind God's people of the eternal dimension of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, keep, keep us, us faithful, faithful in, in your, your service. service. That young people may remain hopeful and enthusiastic about life. May their idealism aid them in pursuing great things in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, keep us, keep us faithful, faithful in, in your, your service. service. That those discouraged and wounded by life may not grow bitter, but draw fresh strength and hope from Christ, who promised us His presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Master, Master, keep, keep us, faithful us faithful in your service. service. That the sick and the dying may look to Christ with hope and penitent trust, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, keep us faithful in your service. That those who have died may join the Lord in His kingdom forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Master, keep us faithful in your service. Father of time and eternity, grant the petitions we have made as we wait for the coming of Christ, your gift of eternal wisdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We bring you these sacrificial gifts, O Lord, to commemorate Blessed Monica, humbly entreating that they may bestow on us both pardon and salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Monica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Blessed Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight, we will be um, uh, premiering in our Facebook page a uh, song prayer and uh, our some of our alumni priests of San Carlos Seminary have uh, recorded a song prayer entitled Song of Farewell by Father Carlo Magno Marcelo. And this is the prayer of the church specially prayed for our faithful departed. We know that at this time, we have a lot of families who are grieving because of the loss of a loved one. And so we uh, made this song prayer so that we can be guided throughout this period of mourning, a period of grieving, so that our voices may become truly a prayer and even a song of farewell and trusting our faithful departed to the merciful embrace of the Father. So we ask, we invite every one of you to tune in tonight at 7 p.m. so that we could uh, pray together and also sing together our farewell to our faithful departed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.